welcome to Little Learners. In today's video, we're going to be looking at 3D shapes and how you can help your child understand exactly what they are. Children begin learning about shapes by learning about 2D shapes, the most common being a square, circle, triangle and rectangle. But of course they also learn about shapes such as hexagons and pentagons. Now one of the most important things about 2D shapes to remember is that they are two-dimensional which means that you cannot hold them. True, 2D shapes are flat. They are something that, for example, is drawn on a piece of paper. You cannot pick it up. 3D shapes, on the other hand, are solid. They are three-dimensional, meaning you can pick them up, you can hold them. They have more than two dimensions, which means that they're able to be held. Before learning the names of different 3D shapes, it's important that children understand the difference between 2D and 3D shapes. And there is a very simple exercise you can do with your child to help them do this. So for example, let's talk about the difference between a square and a cube. Draw a square on a piece of paper, a chalkboard, a whiteboard, whatever you have at home. Show the shape to your child and ask them to pick up the shape from the piece of paper or the board. You can't do it, and they will soon realise that. Then ask them to pick up something that is cube shaped. You might have a cube at home, or you could use a box, an ice cube, or a cube piece of Lego. That's a really simple way to teach children the difference between 2D flat shapes and 3D solid shapes. Of course you can do this with other shapes as well, such as a circle. Ask the child to pick it up. When they realise they can't, then ask them to pick up a sphere. Once you've helped your child differentiate between a 2D and 3D shape, then you can move on to learning the names of different 3D shapes. Okay, so first we're going to talk about this shape. It is a cube. It has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. So rather than sides, which is what we talk about with 2D shapes, we talk about the faces. As you can see, each face is a square, so you can talk to your child about the fact that you can see different 2D shapes inside 3D shapes. So a cube is made up of six square faces. Each square face has four edges, and it also has four corners, which in 3D shapes are known as vertices. The most important thing when learning something new is to make it really relevant to the child. This blue cube doesn't really mean much to them, but then you can ask them to go and find different cubes in their environment. Maybe there's a box lying around, or they can find some ice cubes in the freezer. You can actually turn a 3D hunt into a really fun game, and you can even do it when you're outside of the house. For example, on the walk to school. Next, we're going to look at a sphere. Many children will get this confused with a circle, but you can turn back to your board or piece of paper with your 2D flat circle on it and show them the difference. A sphere has one face, no edges and no vertices. Your child may refer to this as a ball, which is what it is. So your child can go around the house or around their environment and find a basketball, a tennis ball, or maybe even an orange from the kitchen. Next is this shape, a cylinder. A cylinder has two circular faces at the end and one face in the middle. So it has three faces, two edges, and no vertices. But where do we see cylinders in our environment? Maybe there's a tube around, or a pipe, a straw, a piece of chalk, a pencil, a pen. You'd be surprised to know how many cylinders there are just in your home. Our next shape is a cone. This has one circular face at the bottom and then one face around the top. It has a point right at the top, or at the bottom, if it's the other way around, and no vertices. One of the simplest ways to explain a cone to a child is to flip it upside down and talk about ice cream. Most children know what an ice cream cone looks like, and so they've heard the word cone before. Those are the four 3D shapes that we're going to look at in this video, but of course there are more that your child will come across. It's really important to make everything relevant to your child. So playing a 3D shape hunt is an excellent way to do this because they can find 3D shapes in lots of different places in their environment. 3D shapes do not have to be scary. They can seem really complicated to explain to a child, but when you really break it down to their level, it's more simple than you think. Other activities you can do with your child to do with 3D shapes 
our 3D shape printing in sand, for example, or using paint to have a look at the different 2D shapes that the shape is made up of. A really fun 3D shape activity to do is to hide different 3D shapes in sand or water or any other kind of messy play, maybe water beads, and ask them to fish them out and tell you what they are. It's a great hands-on activity that makes things a little bit more exciting. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, be sure to click on the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Please hit that like button down there if you found this video helpful.